start it when I start it. I think we're live. Good. All right. Hello, everyone. We're just going to wait a couple of minutes to okay. have uh, uh, people that are uh, just getting the notification that, that, that we're going live. Um, get it rolling. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I know this was a very um, spontaneous live stream, and that's what we yes. wanted to see, how um, if everybody gets notification, if somebody joins. Today, we're going to be with Marcella. I think this is your first time on, on our Facebook live. <laughs> Yes. Uh, we're both a little nervous. It's our first time on the live uh, Facebook. I yes. know many of you watch our videos. I know uh, a lot of you find our videos very informative. Um, so today we're going to be talking about what we're doing, uh, not just us, but uh, who we're partnering with and what other um, things we're doing with our organization. Give me one second to eliminate the echo. Mm -hmm. So... Our presentation today is going to be on uh, our CBOs or community-based organizations. Um, we're going to be talking about what we're doing with them, uh, who are they. Uh, Marcel is going to be giving them some insights on how are they working in their own communities, where are they working, where you can find the CBOs. Uh, but let's, let's start with you, Marcella. Um, I know you've been working with us all for a couple of years. As yes. a community health worker, and what are you what are you doing now? Okay, thank you, Luis. Thank you for this opportunity. Um, yes, this is my first time <laughs> on Facebook Live. Um, so, um, like Luis mentioned, my name is Marcella uh, McKenna. I'm the program liaison for this campaign for the Lisa's California campaign. Uh, my position, my job is to be the bridge. The, um, with the CBOs that we're working. Like uh, Luis mentioned, there are community-based organizations. Uh, at this moment, we are working with SEDS. Uh, but That's before, yeah, SEDS. Uh, so before uh, I mention who we're working, I would like to tell you a little bit about how um, this campaign has started. Yeah. So um, the Lisa's California campaign actually started last year 2019 it was launched in sacramento in august uh we were there uh, myself along with our program manager and our program coordinator um so uh this campaign is um thankfully is done by our well it was created by our governor governor newsom and uh, legislation, legislation in uh, Sacramento. Um, they approved $50 million for this campaign. Um, 30 uh, million were given to uh, community-based organizations. Uh, and it's basically bringing emergency preparedness to our communities. Uh, okay. And I'm talking about communities that are isolated. Uh, either physically or socially, uh, people who are uh, are not being touched by every institution. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, that's, that's basically yeah. what we're doing. We, our goal is to, as a state, is to reach 1 million. And that's a lot for, of people. Yes, and for San Bernardino, uh, we were awarded the grant and our goal is to reach 210,000 people. 210,000 people for San Bernardino only. Yes, for San Bernardino That's... only uh, with El Sol and the community-based organizations. That's, that's a lot of people. So it's, it's all of us together, all of us combined. I know it's not El Sol working uh, alone. Uh, I know that you guys have been posting a lot of videos, informative videos on, on Facebook. Yes. Um, Besides Facebook or besides all the, the, the videos that we've been posting, is there anything else that, that Lisos is doing outside of uh, social media per se? Uh, oh, yes. Um, I mean, uh, right now our focus has been social media uh, because of yes. COVID-19. 
Uh, that yes. that's the only way that we can. Everything. <laughs> exactly. So uh, we say uh, our lives are before COVID nineteen and after COVID nineteen. Hopefully, yeah, that will be soon. But um, yes, um, so it's not just social media, but we actually. So we are community-based organizations. What it means is that we work on the field. We on work field. with people. We work. We are face to face with them. We work through events. We work through seminars, conferences, trainings. Um, if there's a community center, a school, a hospital, anyone. We're there. Us, <laughs> yes, uh -huh, we're there. We have IESP. We have um, so many agencies that we work and we are there so we can bring this to uh, our community. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. And um, you said that the CVOs are outside of El Sol, so they're different organizations. Do yes. You, do you mind mentioning who those organizations yes. are? Yes. Uh, yeah. Like I mentioned, uh, we are right now we're working with SETS organizations. Um, so one of them is uh, Barstow Community College Foundation. Okay. Uh, there are in Barstow. Um, oh, um, desert. Yeah all the way up there. And uh, we have uh, Big Brother with Sisters of the Inland Empire. Uh, they're uh, of the Inland Empire and San Bernardino because they are also working in Riverside. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Building Resilient Communities. Uh, it's an organization that is, their base is in Redlands, okay? But they work is, um, mainly San Bernardino East region, okay? Uh, yeah, and then we have Community Health Action Network. Uh, they are based in High Desert. Uh, so High Victorville, Desert. Apple Valley, uh, Hesperia, uh, Barstow, uh, and then we have Reach Out. Uh, Reach Out is like uh, our newest CBO. Uh, to join us. They just joined, joined us in May. Uh, they are working uh, in San Bernardino in the West region. Uh, and last but not least, we have the Young Visionaries Youth Leadership Academy. They are actually working in two areas. They are working in the high desert and in the San Bernardino East region too. So, so we're basically covering the whole county, you could say, not just uh, El Sol, but with everybody. Right, yes. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then El Sol. Yeah, we go from Morongo Basin to uh, Big Bear, High Desert, Ontario. So uh, all we're, we're, San we're Bernardino <laughs> Metro. Yes, it's because our campaign is to cover the whole region of San Bernardino County. So, awesome. uh, Phelan, Adelanto, so all those places, well, we are going to be there if we awesome. haven't been there. So, awesome. Yes. Hello, Brenda. She just joined in. She's saying hi. So, hi, hi Brenda. welcome. We're talking about the, the CVOs and the work that they're doing uh, and, and the scope that they're covering it, mm -hmm. that they're covering. I know it also, I know our organization, Marcella, is uh, based on... Uh, all of our community here in San Bernardino County, but we take uh, we take pride that we are helping out the Hispanic community because it's a yes. community that that has a lot of needs. It's a community that maybe doesn't know the language uh, and maybe that that we can reach out more. Um, I understand that the CVOs can be uh, of different communities. So can you tell us a little bit about what other communities we're reaching? Yes. Well? Um, yes. Uh, so uh, our our grant and uh, along with the soul and uh, our six CBOs, the six CBOs are covering um, uh, Latino community, African American, Asian American. Um, they, those are uh, our main target. Population. I imagine the college is covering uh, young, young. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, uh, um, like I said, we, I'm guessing the college is covering the young population. Yes. They, they're covering the young population, but also they're covering parents uh, because they have a lot, they held a, a lot oh. of um, parenting classes. Um, they also 
uh, very close to the senior community. So uh, along with those uh, communities, we are also reaching people who live in poverty, people who um, have disabilities, uh, seniors, like I mentioned, um, children under five years old. Um, so and, and with that, we are also, and right now it has been very hard to, to reach out to, but we are trying to reach out to the community of the long-term um, care facilities. So we're talking about assistant living, people living in rehab centers for the long term. Uh, but yeah. due to COVID-19, um, it has been hard. But you know what, Luis? We have very creative CBOs. Uh, some of them are creating uh, bing, bing, virtual bingo. Yeah. So where they <laughs> can, imagine. yes. So through their caregivers, uh, the, the seniors and, and these people living in this kind of facilities can, um, on top of not only getting the information or have to be prepared in case of an emergency, they also have some fun because they're being isolated. And so uh, one of our yeah. uh, CBOs, which is BRC, uh, Building Community, Re uh, Building Resilient Communities, I'm sorry, uh, they are working on bringing that also on a virtual concert, okay? Um, we have young visionaries working very hard. On, they work really hard and very close with young people. Uh, I'm talking with people who, uh, with young people who, who have their families and those who live in foster families or who are living in uh, home groups, group homes, I'm sorry. So um, they try uh, like by doing drive throughs and, and not only providing the emergency preparedness education, but also bringing uh, school supplies, uh, personal uh -huh. hygiene supplies. So uh, Barso Community College is doing the same thing. Um, they're just Send um, a lot of information to the graduates of this year, 600 of them from the Boston Community College. They send them disaster guides. That's a lot of people. Uh, yes. Um, so uh, we're just waiting for them to respond so we can give them more information. Also, uh, we have CHAN, we have Community Health Action Network up in the desert. There are also, their main focus right now has been food banks. So uh, they've been working back to back. They go from Victorville to Apple Valley to Barstow, uh, Hesperia. They're everywhere. Right They're now. everywhere. They're yes. everywhere. Uh -huh. and, yeah. and maybe this program, like you said earlier, is concentrated on emergency preparedness, how to prepare for an earthquake, how to prepare for a fire, uh, and how to prepare for like disasters in general. Uh, but I see that you guys are doing a lot of things that are outside of 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 just that uh -huh. uh, because of the situation that's given you said uh young visionaries if i'm correct i'm the newest yes. of the team uh, and yes. they're coming in with a COVID 19 mentality mm -hmm. yes. of uh being creative and being able to use the resources to mm -hmm. to the best that they can to reach yeah. other. And, and uh due to COVID 19 it has been really hard to get those face-to-face -face engagements <laughs> so we have uh our CBO, um, Big Brother, Big Sisters of the Inland Empire in San Bernardino, they haven't been able to get to that platform where they working physically together, uh, uh, but they're keep in yeah. touch with their students by um, social media, uh, Remind, Instagram, and also their program specialists, they have assigned different groups and uh, they have meetings with the parents. And that's how they're bringing uh, all this information about COVID-19, how to stay safe and healthy. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I think um, having some internet issues. Yes. But it should all come back very soon okay. uh maybe uh the internet is having some issues too with us <laughs> oh okay 
and but I think we're back. I think we're we're okay. Um, okay. That's that's awesome to hear that every, everything is being covered. Uh, young people especially are being uh, given the resources that they need, uh, especially yes. the parents. Uh, mm -hmm. If anybody in the chat has any questions, feel free to to post them up, uh, and we'll answer them as we go. And but, um, um, if I could, um, Luis, if I could just um, add something because this is um, introducing our CBOs, but at the same time um, giving um, information about our emergency preparedness. Yes. Um, I would just like to um, remind, and if not, maybe it might be uh, new information for those who haven't heard this, but. Uh, the emergency preparedness uh, education has five essential steps, and uh, they're, they're five, they're very quick. Uh, and the first one is we ask our community to go on their smartphones, on their laptops, tablets, and get alerts. And how they're going to get alerts is by signing up um, if you, if we live in, in San Bernardino County. I will suggest to go to Ready San Bernardino. It's an app that you can find on Apple Store or Google Store. Um, and it's very, very informational. Uh, it helps you to make a plan, which is you said Ready the, San the next step. Huh? You said Ready San Bernardino. Yes, Ready San okay. Bernardino. Uh, and um, it's very informative. Um, they um, they help you also make a plan. And that's our second uh, step for the emergency preparedness. Um, our third step is uh, pack a go bag. And what I mean is that uh, not only having a, a, a backpack or a small bag, whatever you have, uh, it doesn't have to be an emergency preparedness uh, bag. It can be uh, an old backpack that your mm -hmm. child doesn't want anymore. And you just have the essentials, an extra pair of sun, uh, glasses, uh, uh, prescriptions, um, some uh, like um, those energy bars, water, yeah. things like that. And not only have it with you, uh, but also have it, if you have a car, have it in your car. And the third step is, I'm sorry, the fourth step is to build uh, a stay box. So sometimes depending on the kind of disaster that I might strike, uh, we might have to stay home. So yes. if like and, we all learned today, you're right. And, and one of the cases could be a power outage and, uh, we stranded at home. So we need to make sure, and sometimes it could be for one, two, three days. So we need to make sure that we have enough water, blankets, things like that. Uh, but things that you need. Every family, every person have different needs. So, sure. uh, yeah. And the last one is, we just ask you to help your friends and neighbors. Uh, and neighbors. After you are, uh, hey. after you have followed the four first steps, then go and help your neighbors and your friends. Got it. Help yourself first. That's what. That's what. Yes. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Now we we had a we had a a bit of an earthquake a couple of days ago. I yes. think it was a five something. Uh, five point five. Five point five. Okay, five point five earthquake. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. What 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 were we expected to do, Marcela? Because I, I know me. I know I, I I either try to run out or I no. stay under the frame of the door. <laughs> no, no, no. So what do you what do you recommend for people like me that that maybe panic during the earthquake and want to want to do something like what okay. what can I what can I what can I do? Okay. That? I know that an earthquake, things happen fast, right? Yes. Uh, but one of the things that we need to make sure is that we stop, we think, and we act. So do not run stop outside the house. That. Please don't. Don't do that. Okay. So, my dog um, just, no. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> it, depending on where you are, if you can, if uh, duck, cover, and hold. So um, just drop cover and hold. So if you are in the living room or close to the dining room, get under a table, table. and cover cover your head, okay? I know it's, it might not sound, sound like it's a lot, 
but this is what you need That's to protect. Okay. Do so yes, exactly. You need to be on all your five senses. So and um and hold and hold to the table, a piece of furniture. So because. If you notice when there's a neck where everything is moving, so if you're under the yes. table, the table is gonna move. So you don't want that table to move and you be uncovered. <laughs> so yes, so just uh, make sure that awesome. you drop, you cover and you hold. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, Marcella. And I, if you, you can find those, I think, uh, advices on our uh, Facebook page. There's a lot of our flyers on there. There's a lot of your, your uh, presentations on there. We're not you, but all of our promotoras uh, have had a chance to have a, a quick presentation on fire preparedness, either earthquake preparedness, uh, floods, uh, how to make your backpack, uh, yes. Th yes. things like that, the little simple things uh, yes. that we can do. Uh, yeah. Hi, Keisha. She says, great information. Thank you for, for, for being here. Uh, hi, Irma. Gusto de verla. Um, we're talking about, like, like, like you said, we're talking about this, this disaster. Um, it, it's, it's great to be prepared. It's great to be ready. Mm -hmm. um, and, and yes. I'm glad that uh, El Sol and the CVOs are bringing that information to uh, the community and, and, and everybody that's, that's out here. Um, we are planning on having some of our CVOs come onto this uh, mm -hmm. space and talk yes. about um, what they what they what they do, how they're doing things, uh, who are they reaching, how are they, how can we get a hold of them? Because uh, maybe some of us are not comfortable reaching out to us, but maybe they're comfortable reaching out to some of the CBOs because they may not know them or they might be closer to them. Um, so next week we're going to have, I think. It's going to be Chan. It's going to be Community Health Action Network up in the High Community Desert. Community Health Action Network up in yes. the Victorville, you said earlier, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So they're yeah. going to they're gonna be here uh, talking about what they're doing, talking yes. about how they're doing it, uh, how are they making things happen, how are they reaching to their community. Mm -hmm. um, but yes. I think this is, this is it for us. Is there anything else you want to add? You want to, any, um, any comments, yes. questions, concerns, jokes? Uh, uh, well, I just want to remind everyone that um, if you want more information about emergency preparedness, about El Sol, of any of our CBOs, um, it, you can uh, first, for emergency preparedness, you can go to listoscalifornia.org, um, also to elsolnet.org, or you can call us at our, our office in San Bernardino is 909-884-3735. Uh, and we can give you more information. We can also, uh, if you would like to have a presentation and I'm telling you, this is free. There's no charge. And no hidden we, bring, <laughs> we, bring, uh, we bring incentives like this awesome um, thing. Our disaster guides. Okay. Yes. We have them in English, we have them in Spanish. Uh, since I mentioned we are going to be working with the Asian American community, we are uh, in the process of ordering some and there some of the different languages that, that we have available awesome. uh, Vietnamese, um, oh, Mandarin. So, yes. Uh, and I mean, reach out to us. Uh, or reach out to any of our um, CBOs, like I mentioned, Barstow Community College, Get a hold of um, big, big Brother, Big Sisters, reach out, building resilient communities, um, awesome. and Young Visionaries. Um, they are there all I over San Bernardino County. Lost connection with me. Okay. I think we're fine.
sorry, I think we lost the uh, okay. internet connection there. <laughs> um, it's been a little finicky here, but um, do you mind mentioning the organizations one more time? I think we got cut yes. off at uh -huh. that point. Yeah, no problem. So like I said, there are six CBOs, Barstow Community College Foundation, Building Resilient Communities, Big Brother Big Sisters of the Inland Empire in San Bernardino, Community Health Action Network, CHAN, up in the high desert, um, Bridge Out in the west of San Bernardino, and Young Visionaries Youth Leadership Academy. And all of them are doing an awesome job. Um, they are, even though through COVID-19, uh, even though we have to stay at home so we can yes. save life, uh, they have been working really hard. I think we are all working really hard, working from home, and uh, they've been doing a, a great job and is, is showing on all the engagements that they have reached. Awesome. Thank you, Marcella. No, uh, thank you. So next week, we're going to have, uh, like she mentioned, we're going to have Chan mm -hmm. on, yes. on here. Uh, ask your questions, come in, join, uh, have a little chat with us. But thank you, Marcella, thank uh, you. For, for sharing all this information. And thank you, everybody, for joining. Um, yes. We're going to be saying goodbye. If you guys don't have any more questions, then uh, this is the end of it. Yeah. My name is Luis, Marcella. Uh, thank you all for being here. Good night. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Luis.